Uh, yeah, hello. Uh, this is uh, Mahesh Prasad Mishra. I work as a uh, as associate data scientist at uh, Safety Software Private Limited. So today uh, we are going to discuss about uh, Einstein recommendation builder. So we are going to see uh, what is Einstein recommendation builder, how to build it, and how to deploy it in uh, Salesforce, and uh, what it does and everything. So we will uh, uh, go through it. So once we reach in setup, you can just uh, search Einstein recommendation builder and uh, in quick point and uh, you, will, uh, you, you can see here Einstein platform, it comes under this and here Einstein recommendation builder, you can easily find it here. So how to build it, okay, so once uh, you have enabled the Einstein recommendation builder, just go to new. Uh, so recommended objects is like uh, what do you want to recommend okay so like uh, uh, for example we want to recommend a, a property and then the recipient object is uh, inquiry okay so we want to like uh, we have a uh, inquiry records uh, and uh, for each inquiry we want to uh, recommend uh, various properties uh, based on the like based on their preferences and everything interactions object is we have already uh, we already have a uh, like interaction subject or relevant property which uh, is like uh, understands the interaction between inquiry and properties is like the relevant properties for each inquiry and how like it works you know so yeah we already have a relevant property so we can just uh, go next and then we can give a name, API name, and save, and it will get saved. Uh, we already have built it, so let me just show what happens after we save it. So it will look something uh, like this. You can see here in settings we have recommended items, recipient interactions. Uh, uh, score we have not built it yet, so we don't have a scorecard yet, but we we'll, we are gonna build it and then you can see example records if you want to you know uh, add some filters to specify examples then the relationship fields <clears throat> then the we can also focus on a segment if you want or use all records you know fields uh, yeah in fields it will just uh, so, yeah we can also select fields uh, we can also exclude or include fields according to our uh, preferences and according to our requirements uh, yeah so summary so uh, one other thing data checker so before building we must check uh, this uh, data checker it should be uh, like it should work and you know all the all the like all the uh, requirements should have like uh, be, should be fulfilled then only we can uh, build the uh, recommendation otherwise we cannot okay so let me close it so now let's go and uh, build the recommendation builder uh, yeah uh, okay uh, so, so once it will get built we will get a notification here uh, not sorry, here notification we are gonna get a notification here uh, yeah so after a few minutes uh, you as you can see, uh, when we turn on the scorecard, we can is, uh, clearly see here that uh, the uh, the recommendation builder has built the uh, build up like recommendation uh, metrics and everything. So you can see the recommendation quality is quite low, like 34 uh, percent. The predictor lift is uh, quite uh, good, like you know, 150 percent. And uh, the top predictors, uh, property name, subcategory. Hotel furnished uh, nice place. But those uh, these are the fields of properties and inquiries, you know, which have a good impact on uh, these predictions. Recommendation quality they have uh, done uh, good. Uh, the thing is that we have uh, we are working on like uh, just enough just enough data like to build this recommendation. So if we have a large amount of data and uh, and a quality type of data, then we will have a good recommendation quality and like you know we will have a better recommendation quality than this uh, so yeah uh, 
uh, yeah, this is the predictor. Uh, you can see the predictors uh, like uh, property name, subcategory, and everything. So if you want to maybe uh, uh, have a better prediction, if you feel it, you can have a better prediction uh, by excluding some of the fields, or you know. So we can just go back, uh, exclude some of the fields from here, recommended items fields, or uh, from the recipient fields, and then we can. Uh, build the recommendation again so that's uh, that's a uh, way also to do that uh, so the next step is uh, like uh, we have to add this recommendation uh, to as a next best action strategy so let's just uh, go to next best action add to a strategy so it's quite simple uh, to build the uh, nba uh, so yeah new strategy Just a few seconds. Let it open. Uh, yeah. So we have a new strategy. So let's uh, give it a name. Property recommendations and uh, API name. Uh, when do we want it to display like in the inquiry object record page so we choose the object where we want to display it uh, yeah so if you want to build it as a template so we can also do this and then uh, done so you can see here uh, the element called Einstein look so we are just gonna drag it, drag it here. Uh, label here uh, uh, property uh, property like uh, just a label. We have to give uh, to the ancient label. So we have to choose uh, which ancient recommendation uh, we want to like have uh, like build a strategy here. So we are gonna go with the one we build property recommendation simple. Uh, accept button label so we can just uh, keep accept decline simple decline uh, title field uh, we can have like uh, name uh, property uh, property name okay let's uh, go with this and uh, description field if you want to if we want to have some description uh, okay let's uh, let's see if we have some description field and let me see let me see uh, let's go with subcategory for now you know just uh, normally it will just show the property name and the uh, type of uh, the category of the property so let's just go with now if we have a proper description field like uh, describing all the uh, property facilities like uh, 2BHK or 3BHK uh, with uh, this much of parking space and uh, like uh, you know this much of square foot of property and everything you know details about the property property price and everything so if you if you want to display all those details so we can also go for that uh, so but for now we don't have the description field so yeah uh, if uh, accept a decline action so if you want to have a, like uh, there are two buttons that will come in the recommendation uh, space so if uh, we want to add a flow after a person accepts or declines a property so we can uh, have some here uh, uh, just uh, i'm just giving it a random flow here but uh, we can have a proper flow and uh, integrate it with this uh, so let's go for done uh, yeah done and then uh, we will save it uh, test search and queries yeah so you can see here uh, apartment apartment we are getting the subcategory but we are not getting the property name so let's go back uh, 
let's try to have some other field as a property name second uh, okay let's go with this num property number okay and done save test uh, yes sir. Uh, one second let's go with this apartment apartment okay uh, we're still not getting the title but yeah let's uh, okay uh, let's see if we deploy it and we get it there uh, we are gonna go to the inquiry page inquiry records page where uh, we are gonna deploy this uh, Uh, we'll just choose a random inquiry page, then go to edit page. Yeah, so we are going to search for NBA as best action as a component here. Uh, okay, let me just close on this. Okay, yeah, let the place open properly. Okay, let me just close all this. Okay, so now we got ancient expert action, so we can add it uh, just above activity. Uh, yeah, so property recommendations, it's already there, and uh, number of recommendations four. Okay, so show title. You can also add to show the title. As you can see, we are right here showing the title here. Uh, loan rejection, strategy builder, height and send header. If you don't want that, and title will be property recommendations. Uh, yeah. And let's see, let's give the item header. Uh, yeah, so now let's uh, save it. Uh, yeah, let's save the page and let's go back to check if uh, the changes are saved or not. Yeah, now you can see uh, property, property recommendations, the property ID and uh, the type of property here, service apartment, apartment, you know, uh, yeah. So we can just uh, go back to inquiries and uh, select a random property. Again, and uh, we can see for each inquiry, we have the property recommendations here. Uh, and the property ID and uh, the type category, so we can add something else uh, according to that. Uh, so yeah, for now uh, that is all about uh, property recommendations. And uh, thank you for uh, watching this video. I hope uh, uh, you, you learned something more about property recommendations, how and how it works in the uh, Salesforce uh, in Salesforce and in the Einstein environment. And uh, so thank you and uh, bye.